Hi. Hi everybody, welcome back to another resin video. So this is part two of the part two or part three of the resin video that I filmed last week. So this is the next week. I should have actually done this to a day or so after I let it set, but because I have specific days to do specific things, I just waited for the entire week to go past. So here it is. This is the one we put just glitter in, and it's the smallest one. So we're just going to unmold it. Fingers crossed it will come out fine. It's coming out easily, so this is a good sign. It means that at least it's coming out easily. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It actually doesn't look that bad for a first try. I mean, the bottom is a little bit messed up. But other than this little nibbit here, everything is very nice. The, uh, hmm, the glitter didn't show up as well as I wanted it to. It does show up most on the top and the bottom of it. And it does look really nice. So I think that's a pretty good first attempt on this small one. Um, I don't know if I should clean up any edges or anything. I don't know what to use to clean up the edges. But that that is the small one. That is the smallest one. And it came off very nicely. It looks like all of it came out of the mold very easily. So a plus, I think, for me, for a first-time user of resin. So next one, I think I'll do go for the second easiest one, which is the earth one where we put flowers in. It hardened a lot faster than I thought it would, so the flowers did float up, but it did give a very nice texture. So I think I'm quite happy with that, so it's fine. This one did get a bit more messed up than um, the uh, fire one because uh, I dripped several drops of resin every everywhere. So this one had the uh, had the flowers and green glitter. I think this was also supposed to have a. Um, some leaves but I didn't because it hardened so fast I didn't get to put the leaves in so right now I'm just trying to loosen it from the sides so that it will slide out much easier which is kind of difficult considering the mold is very fitted towards the resin at this point I'm just trying to get the little bits of resin out like the little droplets of resin I wonder if it will go inside out I don't want to break the mold, but this mold does look very sturdy, so I might not break it from doing this. So There are a few air bubbles in here uh, because the flowers had air bubbles inside it. And kind of, yeah. Here we go, it's coming out. 
I don't know how many minutes it has been, but it's been a while, and, um... Voila! Oh yeah, this had salt crystals in it too. So, there are the flowers on top. There are a lot, there you can see the surface is not completely flat. There's like texture from the flowers lifting up. And you can see that the stems are going down this way. And the salt crystals are at the bottom here. Wow. I think the glitter did go through the bottom though, because it did get a bit heavy on the heavy side, so it's all on the bottom. But other than the fact that the air bubble took off the top corner here, everything else looks very nice. It is very smooth. It is yes, it's very smooth and it's very nice to the touch. I think these bits here that I'm feeling that are rough are probably from the salt crystals and they'll probably eventually dissipate but I don't lift this thing as often as I would think I would so and I love the you can see the bloom here on this side and you can see that it's slightly different color now like it used to be green but now it's like a dark burnt yellow because the resin heated up while the reaction was happening, so uh, while the hardening process was happening, so the um, the flowers were basically burnt, um, but not burnt to the point where they turned to ash, because it's not fire. Just um, heated up to the point where their color changed, because the chloroform couldn't keep the green. I might be wrong with that. Don't take my word for that. But there we go, that's the that's the second one done. This is Earth here. There we go. Next up is water. This might be a harder one to demold because I have no idea how to This might actually end up being easy. Da -da -dun -dun. Wow. 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 This is gorgeous. This is like my favorite one so far. This is very nice. It's a diamond shape but it didn't go up to the full part so it does actually have like a place for it to stand so it's just gonna stand upside down but it is very diamond shaped like like it's supposed to be which is very nice and because it's gonna be upside down you can see the main thing that we're looking for which was the shells and the glitter oh wow this is very nice I am actually very happy with the way this one turned out this one is probably my favorite one so far. This is wow, just wow. I think the only thing that is a problem is the fact that there are two air bubbles, just these two here. But that's okay, that's okay, because it's gonna stand upside down like this, so it's completely fine. It's actually a very nice shape. Very nice shape, uh, very nice feel, and Compared to the first try, you can see all the little bubbles that didn't get to set, like it didn't get to level out, whereas this one is completely clear because I got a bit better as we went along. You can see that you can actually see through it like you should be able to. Okay, so last one. This is the air one. Let's see what we got.
And there we go. That is the air. I am very, I am quite proud of how this one came out. So the flower petals, if you remember, were orange to start with, but because of the heat, they turned yellow. The glitter did sink down to the bottom here, but again, this is another one where it's clear, so you can see right through it. And what's nice about it, if, if you look this way, you can see the feather, you can see the petals, and it looks like it's falling down rain. If you had it this way, it looks like it's falling down rain, and it's very nice. I am very proud of this. This is actually very nice. So I think my personal favorites are definitely air and water, just because I got better in those these two. I think the only downside was that I didn't put enough of it to fill up the molds, so they didn't have like the complete shape of the molds. But other than that downside, it's actually perfectly fine. It's very nice. Uh, the materials I use are in the description below. Um, the molds are very good quality. Uh, they So far, they held up. I mean, I literally just flipped this one inside out almost to get the mold out. I mean, not the mold, but the resin out of the mold. So, so um, uh, I did put in the description below what mold I I, I am using. I know this one's a short one, but it was just basically me unmolding my resin, so yeah. So we got the four elements, air, water, earth, and fire. I know fire's a bit small, but I don't have anything else to represent fire other than the pink. Um, oh, this is actually pretty, that's cute. Isn't that adorable? But yeah, so there is nothing I can use to represent fire other than the color itself. So I did just make it small, so. But other than that, these are very nice. For my first try, I think I did pretty well. If you guys think I could have done better, then do put it down in the comments below and I'll check it out. I do check my comments all the time, don't worry. I don't ignore people, I swear. Um... But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, this short video, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye!